something, boo. Ma, 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 ma. Pretty good. I feel like I'm in school. What's up, everyone? This is Natasha, and we are opening our second Maker Crate box. Actually, this is the third Maker Crate, but I'm skipping uh, the second one. I'll do that later. But this one is the hand-lettered travel mugs. And I'm very excited because I've been wanting to learn calligraphy. I think they threw in the travel mugs as like an added thing to fill up the box, but regardless, I'm still really excited. Let's see what's inside. This is the beautiful box and inside, we've got the little pamphlet, 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 the lettering supplies, a couple of more, I think this helps blend the two. Who knows? Um, oh, it's like dark in here. What the heck? I need to turn on the light. Dual tip brush markers in the pretty colors. And then, and like, and then two travel mugs. I'm not as excited about the travel mugs, to be honest, but I'm excited to learn how to write in pretty form. With <laughs> my face. They're like your standard giveaway mugs, nothing too crazy. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. Basically, you would take this out and you'd replace it with whatever. Oh my gosh, the bottom came out. Wait, did I break this? Okay, so like I said, I think these are just cheapy, cheapy mugs. Don't really care for them. Whatever. Let's get into actually learning how to write prettily. So this is the folder. It comes with a stencil. It's gone. It's got this clear sheet. Oh, I already put some dog hair on there. Love it. We love that. <laughs> Hand lettering tips, strokes, warm up strokes, uppercase letters. Cool. Let's keep practicing. Yeah, love it. I'm officially on the floor. So first of all, I love these pens. Like, okay, they're great because obviously what we're trying to do. But what I really like about these pens is that you can put the cap on the other end. I feel like there are pens that don't always do that, especially like marker pens. I have finished my warm-up stroke here. I feel like I'm in class and I'm like submitting a paper. It teaches you when you go up, you're lighter. And when you're making your stroke down, you are angling your pen so that it's contacting more with the paper. So I did a couple here and there. I feel like I did pretty well. Um, at first I started out with a gray marker and like that's like the same color of this so you can really even tell. So I switched to green, but that was silly, wasn't it? Now I'm going to do uppercase and then after uppercase, I will do lowercase and maybe we can do something after that. Also, my internet is out right now, so um, this is kind of the reason why I'm doing this is because I can't play my Fortnite. Number one victory royale, yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. get down. 10 kills on the board right now, just wiped out Tomato Town. My friend just gone down. Lots of flicks. Okay, check it out. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Okay. I did feel like I was tracing. <laughs> tracing more than I was looking at the arrows. So we shall see what this will look like when we actually create something or like put multiple things together. So I actually already messed up. <laughs> so bad um well it goes to show i should be practicing but they said to practice and i wrote live laugh love because you know we love that saying and they talked really briefly about shadows and yeah doesn't look great i almost feel like i'm just kind of writing in cursive right now when i'm doing freehand oh i think this is going to take a lot of practice two hours later we have officially moved to the table because I was getting dog hair on everything. <laughs> Ooh, you can't see it, but this acetate paper, there's just hair all over. Thanks, Cole. We're going to use this to learn how to blend colors. Blend it out, blend it. Let's use these two colors because these are the colors they use in the example. Taking our practice 
paper. Live, laugh, love. Let's do hello. Put the darker one on here. So I put the blue onto the paper. It doesn't absorb and I'm going to run my pink to pick some of that up. Meh, meh, meh. And <gasps> yes. Woo! Look at that, blended. I feel like I'm in school. Next, we're gonna learn how to use this tool. It's to help like create a painting, like I use it as a painter, like a paintbrush. So this thing already is filled with water. You can't tell, but it has water in there. And we're gonna make a little pretty background. This acetate paper, it makes it so that the ink doesn't stay on here. And the next thing they said to do was to put some drops of water. Okay, that's a lot. Well, <laughs> well, okay, I put too much water. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Yep, 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 yep. It's all about blending. You really don't need that much water. Nice. Okay, this is cool. Check it out. So I used a little bit too much water and it's just leaking through and it's also showing a little bit of like my practice writing in the back, but overall I feel like I understand the assignment. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'm done practicing and I think it's time to figure out what I want on my mug. Ooh, also this stencil is to help me write. So whether I want to write a curve on my tumbler or if I want some like funky shapes I can use a stencil. I thought it was like a rainbow stencil so I could just color it in but that's not the case at all. I got it. One, two, one, two, three, four. I think I really like these colors so I think I'm gonna do something. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. I made my background, now we let it dry. I have to mention, they gave me six of these um, inserts for my tumbler, so you know, if I mess up, or if I wanna change it out. I do wish that they sent me more of these so I could just keep practicing the strokes in the letter form. Whatever I write down is permanent. It's fine. It's fine. I'm like trying to see how I can make this better. I feel like it's pretty good. Okay. This is what I created. Leave me alone. Get it? All right, let's put it in the tumbler. Let's take it out. Clearly, I love it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, uh, at a place. Just be like, that's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun learning how to do this. However, I will say this was a very quick activity, and in terms of its worth, I don't know if it's like worth $30. Um, I think it's because a combination of this is a fairly easy exercise as well as this tumbler is not the most highest quality, but I still had a lot of fun doing it and I'm excited for my next boxes. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at the next box. Bye.